Hey everyone, Mike here from Watch It Paint It, and in this video I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to paint black armor for your space marines. This one happens to be a space wolf, but obviously this method could be used for anything with black metal armor. To do this particular paint job you'll need four colors, preferably a black primer, though grey or silver would work as well, a dark silver metallic like gunmetal, black contrast paint, and finally a bright silver. You'll also want one or two dry brushes. I have a big one from Army Painter for most of the work, and then I have a small makeup brush for getting into the harder to reach areas. As long as the brush has soft fluffy bristles, you're good to go. So at this point I've primed the miniature completely in black. Next I'm going to do a heavy dry brush over the entire miniature. So normally with a dry brush you'd get off most of the paint from your brush before starting. I'm just getting off about half of it and making sure there's no big gobs of paint in the bristles. Then as you can see I'm lightly running my gunmetal dry brush over the entire body of the model. There's lots of little gaps between the panels on the armor and I'm trying not to get the paint in there. I'm leaving that black to make the details stand out, but if I do get paint in there I'm not too worried. The black contrast paint will fill in those gaps with black later. With the dry brush finished you can see that it's done a good job of covering the model while still leaving the details clearly visible. At this point you could do any number of washes over the metal to tint it, but for this video I'll be using black contrast paint. I don't want the contrast paint straight out of the pot, it's a bit too heavy, so I'll be mixing it roughly two parts contrast paint to one part contrast medium. Now for this part I highly recommend picking one body part and fully painting it before you move on. Start at the top and work your way down, completely covering the body part with paint. I usually do this with quick brush strokes and try to move the brush from top to bottom. If you focus on one body part at a time you can clean up any excess pooling of the paint as you go and also make sure that the body part is completely covered. If you miss a spot at this stage it's going to be hard to cover it up later without leaving unsightly tide marks. So here's how the model looks after one layer of the thinned down contrast paint. And now I'm going to add a second layer, but this time I'll mix the paint and medium in a 1 to 1 ratio. This layer is going on much thinner and I'm focusing most of the paint on the underside of the armor. So only downward brush strokes. This is going to help shadow the underside a little bit more and add some depth. Okay now I'm switching to my small dry brush and I'm using the shining silver. This time I'm doing a proper dry brush and getting most of the paint off of the brush. I only want to have the bare minimum of paint going on this time. I'm very lightly running the brush across the edges of the armor, trying to brighten those up with an easy edge highlight. As long as you only have a tiny bit of paint on the brush it won't smear and make a mess on the black armor. So at this point the black armor is pretty much done except for some weathering which I will show in a moment. I didn't want to leave everything a shiny black metal, the armor looks much better if you have a few accent colors on there. So obviously I'll paint the leather straps a different color and then I'm adding a faded gold to the jetpack and parts of the gun. Next I painted the eyes a glowing red color and if you're interested I'll have a video out soon on how to do this as well along with some speed painting options for glowing eyes. And the last touch I added to the armor before doing the weathering was to add some yellow stripe patterns and a water transfer to one shoulder. There's a link at the end of this video if you're curious about how Ben and I apply our water transfers. Okay now that this guy is done I want to add some scuff marks to the areas that were just painted with the stripes. I can't use the contrast paint again so instead what I'll do is mix roughly two parts gunmetal to one part black and apply it with a sponge. The sponge is just from a sponge paintbrush that I've been slowly ripping apart. So first I'm going to tear off a small piece of this sponge, getting some good rough edges. To hold it I'll be using a normal pair of tweezers. Next I'm mixing up the paint on a dry palette, and I'm not using any water with it. I actually want this paint to be a bit thick when I apply it. I'm first dabbing the sponge into the paint and then dabbing off most of the excess until I'm just getting little metal specks on the paper towel. Now it's just a matter of dabbing the sponge onto the areas that you want to look chipped. 
I'm taking my time. I don't want to squish the sponge too hard and get a paint smear, but over time it is going to create some cool looking chip marks in the yellow paint. And one last little optional step is to add a brown wash to make everything a little more grimy. And here is the finished model. The black armor was the main focus of this video, but if there are aspects you'd like to see in more detail, like eyes, lenses, or anything else, let me know. I hope you guys like this video. Go give this a try, and thanks for watching.